Hello everyone, I'm Fang Yangming, and today I'm going to talk about the impact of information transparency on film performance evidence from China. So nowadays, with the concern of the public for corporate social responsibility, firms are increasingly concerned with social responsibility. And the main purpose of a firm's contribution to the society, as we know, is to earn more profit. Since they think the consumers will be satisfied with their social contribution, so it's important for them to figure out whether it's beneficial for their profit to do contribution to the society. And there have been a lot of studies about the relationship between social responsibility and proficiency and profitability. For example, in 2021, the study of Quizen says that a higher level of disclosure can result in better phone performance. And in the study of Sarafa, etc., in 2022, uh, it is concludes that sustainability reporting disclosure has a positive and huge impact on phone performance based on both market and accounting. And also there has been many other studies about this topic. So based on these studies, I made three hypotheses. Hypothesis one is the information transparency level of a phone is positively related to its ROA. And the second hypothesis is the influence of transparency on ROA is more considerable in forms in which disclosure is voluntary. And the third hypothesis is the influence of transparency on ROA is more considerable in forms that have the experience of violating rules. And for the data, I used the CSMAR. CSMAR is a platform which has the um, data and information of all the Chinese forms and things I'm going to investigate. Chinese forms. I use CSMAR as the source of my data and I use the data from 26 to 2021 and its annual data and in the end I have uh, 23,958 of the patients uh, from 3,536 firms. And I selected uh, the firms existing throughout the selected year period, which is from 26 to 2021. And firms the forms should have all the data needed in our research, which means the forms with missing data on any of the on any of the variables in the research will be deleted, and the variables are the the x of the so why of my research is ROA. The so dependent variables is ROA and the independent variable is the transparency level of the form. And also I have the control variables which are form size, form age, leverage, price to book ratio, liquidity ratio, asset growth, board size, independent directors, percentage, CEO duality, board members average age. 
and I use the regression as a method to analyze the data in my research. Regression is a widely used method in academic areas that can help us get the correlation between two or more variables and find the relationships between them. And it's also utilized in my research to analyze the relationship between transparency level and ROA. And this is the equation of the regression. And first, let's look at the descriptive statistics. As we can see, there are 23,958 observations in my study, and the average of ROA is 0.039. The average of transparency level is 0.321, and, and the standard deviation of ROA and transparency are 0 0.069 and 0.1. A3. And we can see all the data for all the variables in my research. And this is the result of the main regression. As we can see, um, if we if we just uh, want to find the relationship between ROA and the transparency, the correlation is 0.37 and it's significant as 0.05 level. And, the, and then I added all the variables and as we can see, the correlation between ROA and transparency is 0.137. And also, the correlation of ROA and leverage is also very significant, and it's negative 0.133. And then I want to figure out the, the impact of whether the information transparency is voluntary on the relationships that we have just found. And firstly, I, I use, I multiply uh, transparency level by the voluntary and I found Found the relationship of this variable to the RO, and the ROA is 0 0.072, and it's significant as the 0.01 level. And also, I divided the forms uh, into, I divided the observations into two groups. Group one with voluntary equals to zero and group two with observations whose voluntary is equals to one. And as we can see the for the group one the correlation between transparency and ROA is point oh a six and it's 0.128 for group two. So we can see that in forms in which uh, information disclosure is voluntary, the, the relationship between transparency level and ROA is more significant than the hypothesis two can, is true. And then I want to investigate the impact of rule violation on the relationship we just found. And again, I multiply transparency by the violation variable, and I found the correlation is 0 0.093, and it's also significant as the 0.1 level, and I divide 
the observations into two groups. Group one with varroa. Violation equals to zero, and group two with var with observations uh with violation equals to one, and the correlations are respectively um point one o eight and point two o two, and we can see that in phones which who have the experience of raw violations, the relationship between ROA and transparency can be more considerable. And also, I investigated the lag effect to because um, it, it may not be the transparency level in this year who affect the ROA, but it can also be the transparency level in the formal year or in or two years before. So I lagged the transparency and then I lagged it twice. And as we can see, the correlation of the lagged transparency Transparency and ROA is 0 0.091, and for the transparency lagged twice, the correlation is 0 0.058, and it's not so significant compared to the correlation we have found in the first stage. So we can see that it's the uh, transparency level in the current year which affects the ROA. And we can conclude that the information transparency does have a significantly positive impact on the performance of the form and whether the disclosure of information is mandatory has a positive moderating effect on the relationship between information disclosure and form performance and whether the company have experience of violating rules also has a positive effect on this relationship. That's all of my presentation. Thank you very much for your patient listening.